perfect. And I'm Leslie, and let me just um, introduce myself. We've got someone new here. Hi, Aunt Petunia, welcome. <laughs> we may have some extra people joining us tonight. I've just posted a thing up on Instagram as well. And I have got, I've got quite a lot of things to share with you guys actually. But let me just start by saying that if you are watching this video on replay, i.e. you're not on, not on the live stream, but you're watching it on replay, if you're here expecting to have an edited video, I'm afraid that's not what you're going to get today. This is a live stream. So yes, we'll be here for a few hours. You can dip in and out. I love having the communication with everyone here and I love you guys having a say on what I do. And that's all part of the fun. So a couple of things to share with you guys. Um, first of all, we have these here so that I can do my color balancing on my video. So these ones I've already shared previously, these gorgeous creations. And if you're part of my, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you may see, have seen these ones as well. And I was so excited to get these. So this one here is from Denise Watts from over at her YouTube channel and blog is called What's She Making? Or as, as Craig calls it, What's She Making Now? <laughs> They almost said it um, beside me here <laughs> and I love the way she has mixed the gray and the coral colors which is coral is not really a color that I can um, I like wearing it's not my color and because of that I kind of avoid it but I really like it I'm definitely gonna do that and we've got this one here which is from snow and I think it's absolutely adorable I think it's so funny the way that the cupcakes have been made to um, look like little whales. It's a really, really cute. <laughs> and this here is from Maria. Um, and Maria is on here. Her tag is my craft way to happiness. So thank you so much, Maria. The fun There's a funny story. I'm sure you won't mind me telling, or at least you can't. Uh, well, if you want me not to tell, you better shout quick. <laughs> But I was talking to Maria on Instagram and I was saying that I was loving all the rainbow cards that I was seeing in her stream. And um, she said that she'd be making some stuff and she went to send me a picture and she sent me a picture of this card. And I was like, oh, I love that. That's awesome. I love that a crafty lady. And, and she was like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, delete, delete. Ah, oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Oh, so she accidentally um, sent it to me via the interwebs before it reached me via post, but I love it anyway. So I am very, very thrilled. And I got some crafty goodies as well, which I'll share. And before I um, get too far in, you may have seen on my... Um, you're not dumb, Maria. You're just the same as the rest of us. We have our moments. Um, I I put up that I had an idea either to do some sort of clean and simple cards and try and do maybe more than one tonight because I always go really complicated and it takes me forever, which is fine. Um, and I enjoy that, but I thought it would be something different. But also someone messaged me um, on the Heffy Doodle Facebook page I think it was and they said would I have some ideas on turning the heffy doodle critters into some Halloweeny type cards now, I don't normally make Halloween cards but if you guys have been watching this stream for a while you know that I do love a challenge and I don't like to shy away from them <laughs> so um, let me just share these couple of things here which I got so Denise sent me these beautiful little butterflies and um, I, when I saw that I actually had an idea as well and um, this here is from snow she sent me some goodies and she sent me some tulle and I saw a couple of months ago I can't even remember I think it was Jennifer Maguire that she made a shaker card using the tulle and I thought that maybe we could do something like that ideas ideas and how sweet are these little pegs? Although I think I might actually end up using these to peg up 
my like the cards that people sent me because they're beautiful colors as well enamel stickers i am in love with these colors especially the teal of course and um, scratch off um stickers i had seen these i've never seen them to buy so i'm really excited about that and a wibbly wobbly woo wibbly wobbly and this is another thing where i've been keeping my eye out to buy but hadn't got round to to seeing them or like they're never in a shop that i'm buying from and then it's the kind of thing where i'm pretty sure when i did see them you had to buy like 50 of them or something ridiculous so there's a couple of ideas it has an action wobbler that's what it's called not a wibbly wobbly woo i think the sentiment on the crafty baby card fits you well happy birthday now where's the cake <laughs> yes absolutely because i am hungry heavy <laughs> it was actually funny the other day because um i um, i was talking to you maria on phone on um on instagram and i think i was like right i i, I like i need to go and i said Craig was like what's wrong and i was like i'm just really hungry and like i have to say goodbye because i'm not sure if maria knows that once i'm hungry like that is it if i anyone else like craig went to say what's wrong or i need to do this i'm like i'm hungry everything else stops and we have to get me food because i become a little bit of a monster otherwise <laughs> i don't think maria knows me that much to know the words i'm hungry mean everything's got to stop right now <laughs> there we go so beautiful absolutely gorgeous thank you so much you guys hi nancy hi nancy lee nancy lee i think you were one of my kickstarter supporters if i recognize that name so guys please have a think what would you want to see tonight i am open to some ideas from you guys i had thought about clean and simple cards but i will pretty much go with anything um tell me what you want to see and i will um i will do it yes maria thank you for reminding me because it's over here maria did send me she was cheeky and sent me a stamp set as well and look at this how cool is that i'll not move it because it shines then this is absolutely my favorite you're not old you're 25 plus shipping and handling <laughs> i think that is so funny i had an idea to use this stamp and then I don't know if I can, but like pierce through the holes and put a Chibatronic light behind it. How funny would that be? I think that'd be hilarious, like those light up things. <laughs> Happy birthday to an equally overqualified and underpaid co-worker. <laughs> I like this. Also, I really like this one. Is this the birthday when you start asking life's big questions? Like, why did I walk into this room? I think we've all been there. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are far too kind, you cheeky sausage. Um, before I go any further I want to show you some more projects because we had a we had some Chibitronics collaborations and I'm not sure if this one is still going but definitely the Studio Katia one is so let me grab that and I can share it with you if I can even find it I made it before I went on holiday and now it's probably nowhere to be seen might be over here oh I'm so excited to be back with you guys where is this card oh I can't lay my hands in it which is really annoying because it was a really pretty card I'll have to have another look later. So I made some, <laughs> I made some cards as part of Chibitronics collaborations. This one is from Newton Nook, and I wanted to make a card that was, I would say, a little bit different, but it's pretty much a lot different. So it stands up like this, which is super fun, and then we have a propeller action going on here. And the last time I did this one of my lights didn't work so let's see ah my battery is gone is it it has an effect sticker which um lights up the tail light and the 
two lights here that I think my glue is not stuck properly. You can see it better on my video. But there was a giveaway for um, Newton's Nook. And I th I'm not sure if that, I think that one should still be open. But the one for Studio Katia is definitely still open. So if you have a look on my YouTube um, or on my blog, you'll see my project from Studio Katia, which is a really cute shaker card that lights up. And um, you can win a, I think it's a 30 pound voucher for Studio Katia and um, also a starter kit for Chibitronics. So that's good fun. And more things to share. Let me see. You may have seen on Instagram that I am doing a birthday celebration giveaway. So I've got a post up there where I am giving away a selection of goodies in celebration of my birthday. So there's a couple of things here. We've got some pretty sequins. I've got a mask. We've got the Honeybee Stamps Celebration Box, which is one of the ones that I helped design when I was on their design team. We've got this one here, which is from Aladdin, and it's cacti. And I think cacti is pretty, pretty popular at the moment. And then this one here called the Crafty Girl Set, which is all these little crafty girls, almost like at a crop. And Piper read this today. She says, what does that mean? If you can't stand the mess, get out of the craft room. So I had to tell her about, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. So please do hop on over to Instagram at some stage and um, join the fun. You can tag a friend. Maria, you said that you have a question. Fire away. Ooh, let me read up the comments. I also got a wireless mouse for my birthday. <laughs> oh, glad to see it's not just me, Elizabeth, it's you. <laughs> Melinda says something with Chibi Tronics. Mm, yeah. Tally's here, hey Tally. Okay. So I'm going to get some stuff prepped, but you guys still haven't told me what you want to do tonight. Any ideas or shall I just get cracking? This is the question. Hmm? Do you get an entry for every single friend tag? Yes, you do. You do. Elizabeth says, I'm happy not to see Halloween because in Australia it's not big here. Yeah, well, it's not really big here either. Um, and that's fine because I can actually, I can just do it during like an Instagram video or something like that. So it doesn't have to take up a whole video here. Maybe we can do some quick cards or we can do a shaker card. Anybody got any ideas? Otherwise, I shall just start playing, to be honest. can I repost on Instagram? Okay, well that's a tricky one because technically um, Instagram does not have that feature. However, there are other apps or other, um, yeah, they're called apps, right? Um, that you can download that allow you to repost it or as um, Cynthia says, you may be able to screenshot it. So that we found. Oh, the, um, Didi says, 
Um, I made a live video. Ooh, okay. Shaker using tool. Is it tool? Tool or tool? I never know. Okay. So some shakers. So you had mixed success. Oh, I'm interested to know what happened there then. I'm just going to do this, emboss this. We can do a couple of things. <laughs> I got this here embossing folder. It was one of those ones that comes free in a magazine. And I thought, oh, that's actually really pretty. Some of the ones that come free in the magazines, they, um, they're sometimes not really my style. But this one I really, I thought I would really quite like. So our last time Craig said, when I used my big shot over there, it made a horrendous clunking noise. So let's move it to here. I'd like to see Chibitronics with Aunt Petunia. And I can do that because also in my package from Snow was some more batteries, which I actually didn't have. Uh, I didn't have any left, but she sent me some letter. Amanda got her happy doodles dance and dies. Oh, you guys, I was so like last week before um, we went away, I was an absolute maniac trying to get them all out and sorted. And I had everything kind of all prepped before the stuff even got here, which was good. But um, I, <laughs> I like went up to the post office and I was like, I would like to apologize in advance for <laughs> what I'm about to do because I've got quite a lot. <laughs> um, but we, we, we got them all sorted but can you believe it there's like six people who still still haven't sent me their address um, and their choice of stamps I'm like okay people but I can't send you your crafty goodies if you don't give me your choices and your address I'm thinking oh, it's per people these per people like oh. but what can you do I've messaged them like six seven times <laughs> oh <laughs> you're welcome for me answering your questions Maria no problem at all oh, have you had a chance to play with them yeah Amanda I can't wait to see you guys make Ooh. It seemed that the sequence got caught in it a little more than I thought it would, but maybe I just didn't pull it tight enough. Oh, good tip. Okay, we'll check that out. <laughs> Elizabeth says they stayed next to my bedside table. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm gonna start off here with a little, a little rainbow inking because also for my birthday, I got I'll have to take a picture and post it. Um, I got a nail polish display case, which is holding my inks, because normally my inks are on a rack, like over there, and my light normally sits over here, so I literally have to bend backwards to go round it and into to get it. And I wanted to move my my inks to somewhere a little bit more accessible so I did and I got this cool nail polish holder thing that seems to be the rage at the moment so I'm inspired by Maria's rainbow so I'm just going to add a little rainbow to this and then we shall throw something together Oh my goodness, got distracted by Instagram for a second. Saw neat and tangled sneaks. Ooh. Oh, I saw something. I saw a sneak. It was on, I think, the Lawn Fawn 
Lon Fornatic's Facebook group and it was someone holding up the corner of a um, Lawn Fawn set and I think it is the Stamp Timber one which is going to be announced I think they said the third is the Lawn Fawn one but guess what it had guess what it had otters holding hands so I'm I think that the, the Stamp Timber exclusive lawn fawn set has got otters holding hands so there you go heard it from me hi snow thank you for joining us let me scroll up i've managed to make cars with the crocs and the bears oh so exciting cynthia's got 36 distressing nice work Yeah, so Amanda says that the Kickstarter messages are a bit rubbish. I I suspected it that may well be the case. Um but I've also emailed them. I've also emailed every single person. One person emailed me back with not the information that they needed to send. And then whenever I tried to reply, it was like, you cannot reply to this person. And I have no idea why. So then I tried to send it, send them an email from like a different account. Same thing, you cannot email this person. So I sent another Kickstarter message, which seems to be the only thing that I don't get a bounce back from. And I shall keep trying really. I didn't like the otters in it. Oh, did you not? Controversial snow. <gasps> Controversial. Adding a little rainbow. I think I made my panel too wide now because I've not done my red thick enough. Hey ho. Okay, let's go that way. Hard to get from the UK though. Yeah, the Simon says stamp stamp. Well, it's it's Simon says stamp does stamp timber. So it's an American company, American shop. So you can order it from America, but there's no real alternative because it's from America, right? I mean, it's American store. What is stamp timber, please? Oh, thank you, Snow, for the fourth. It's on the fourth. Okay, cool. Um, stamp timber is is a celebration that Simon says stamp made up. They created an event called stamp timber so they were like hey for the whole month of whatever it was well september obviously and um, for the whole month of september we are going to be um celebrating stamping and um i'm just gonna add some red over here we're going to be celebrating stamping and as part of this we're going to have a massive release bigger than normal and we are going to have giveaways and offers and whatever else and what's happened over time is that they have enlisted other stamp companies to kind of get involved with this event as well and normally there's good discount codes and things so <coughs> because of that the um, the manufacturers are like yep awesome it's a great marketing opportunity so why not so that is what stamp timber is Ooh. so also for my birthday 
feel like I'm sharing all my goodies. Um, also for my birthday, I got a gift voucher. And um, I got a gift voucher for a stamp shop or a craft shop in the UK, which is called Seven Hills Crafts. And it's kind of ironic because I was so desperate to <laughs> to um, to use it. I, I got my car. Oh, Craig got Piper to write the card. She wrote the card and then she took it out of the suitcase to go and write the envelope. Wrote the envelope and left the card at home so we didn't have it away. So he was like, you're just going to have to wait, but that's got that's got the present in it and in the end I was like oh please 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 can I just have it can I just have it so he sent me the code and <laughs> and I was really excited to use it and I went online and Seven Hills Crafts um store was down there they had like a server issue so the whole store was down so in the end up I had to wait anyway but good things come to those who wait and I got some some goodies so I'll show you that later on and I also bought something that I have been jonesing after for like over a year I'll show you those in a bit as well and I want to do a giveaway tonight for you guys as a thank you for joining the stream I need to change my blade on my machine, my trimmer. Getting some frayed edges. Let me have a look. Do they release stuff each day? I think that they pretty much, I don't know whether it's every single day in all honesty, but it is fairly frequently. So might be every day for the first week or it might be every day every day i'm not sure but there's yeah quite a lot of stuff right i need a critter to go on this i think i'm gonna go for a heffy doodle stamp bear Oh, Snow's is March 17th. Snow's birthday is March 17th. Interesting. One day after Piper's. That's um, St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? I believe so. The reason I know that off the top of my head. Well, yes, I am Irish, so I probably should know that. But... <laughs> Um, I um, I went into labour and had Piper on the 16th and my mother said could you not hold on for just another day so you had a little Irish baby <laughs> um, no when she was coming out she was coming out I'm afraid that's just the way it was So what's in the Neat and Tangled release? Tell me, tell me do. I got two of the new long fun sets. Ooh, lots of comments there and I can't keep up. <laughs> Maria got two of the new long fun sets. Yes, you got the the one with the um, the tree stump, didn't you? I really like that one. I'm going to use Heffy Doodle Unbearable Without You. Little, little guy. And I think I'll also use I'll also use the um, little what's the word? Speech bubbles or thought bubbles.
maybe it could be a happy Halloween card if other people want to see Halloween critters. Uh, we can do a mix, maybe. Hi, Emma. Emma, what was going on with you this week? I remember thinking, oh, poor Emma. But I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Let me just remember me. Forest Feast, yes, that's the one that um, has the tree stump in the middle, doesn't it? Very cute. <laughs> of course you like that one. It has a raccoon. I know. So last week, guys, Craig organised for me to go to this animal encounter day so I could see a raccoon. I mean, he's pretty awesome, isn't he? And if you're new here, I like raccoons. I love them a lot. And um, so I'm pretty sure most of the weekend was planned around going to this animal encounter day so I could go and see the raccoons. And you may have spotted a couple of posts on Instagram of me holding the skunk which is just the sweetest. I was so surprised that the skunk totally stole my heart. She was so cute and she was like padding away and nuzzling in. Oh, she was lovely. And she had a big smooshy bum. She was just so lovely. Um, yeah, so there was a raccoon, but unfortunately the raccoon, she just wasn't really interested in people and like she was kind of digging away at a, in like a bow in a, like a plastic tub with water and um, there were like nuts and food and stuff in it which is all good um, but she didn't really want to come and worry about people like she wouldn't really come anywhere near us and she was on a harness to keep her safe and whatever keep her from running off but yeah it was a little bit sad for me because I just wanted to pick her up and squish her and be like oh I love you but at least I got to do that with my skunks. There was a skunk called Daisy, and then, and she was the she was a mummy, and then her baby was there, and the baby was called Khaleesi, and the Khaleesi one, like all down the back, was like mostly white, and then there was like thin white, uh, sorry, black lines, which was so sweet. They were both gorgeous. I've grabbed my Copics here to color this guy in very quickly. I can't find my W0. There it is. <laughs> so we've got Penguin singing Chris's long on stamp and the winter 6x6 paper pad. Nice. Oh, while you were running errands. So you know, were you like, oh, I'll just go, I'll go and to the post office, go to the bank. I'll just nip into this craft shop and oops bought something a little prize for myself for being such a good adult <laughs> Craig rocks Craig does rock he's the best he's the best husband the heffy could ask for Right, so I'm going for cool greys for this little guy and I'm not really being fussy because the whole idea was quick, simple, bosh him out. That's the idea anyway. It doesn't always work. So the meerkat, right, so if you haven't seen it already, go to Hungry Heffy Crafts blog and I talk about the giveaway but I've put extra photos on there. So there's a photo of me, and there's a photo of the raccoon who is called Creer. And there was a photo of, I think, me holding Khaleesi, the skunk, the baby skunk. And um, there's a photo of Piper feeding an alpaca. But there's also a photo, I think I, I, think I included it, a photo of me and Copernicus and Copernicus is a 15 week old 
baby meerkat and yes he is adorable he wasn't much of a snuggler because he's so tiny that he, he's just really lively but I got to hold him and like pet him and things oh he was just amazing <laughs> Also new this week, we have added we've added a where to buy section to Heffy Doodle website. Also on my travels, although I was away for a somewhat of a break, I was away with our friends who are um, my IT specialists. So we were working on developing the Heffy Doodle online shop. So that's coming soon as well and something that you guys may be interested in is I am just typing up information because the Heffy Doodle design team call will shortly be open for applicants. Mm -hmm. So that is very exciting. All right. So I'm going to put a greeting, I think. I'm either going to put a greeting or a love heart in here. What is your thoughts my dear friends a greeting or love heart doesn't have to be heffy doodle we can mix things up that's part of the it's part of what i love to do Hard so you can actually see what's happening. Oh, that was a good trick anyway. Sue says she was going nuts over my photos. <laughs> I knew there'd be a couple of you guys that would just be absolutely dying over them yep got this one here uh, so I'll put something here and maybe something along there maybe I'll put a love heart here and then a message along the bottom any thoughts? Donna says someone looking after baby meerkats brought them to <gasps> oh I want to be there oh I'm so jealous even though I got to see one and hold one I'm still jealous <laughs> I think animals are kind of awesome <laughs> oh okay so what didn't I get it felt like with a new release just on Halloween <laughs> all spending your hard-earned cash what is that thing for frayed edges and where did you get it from this my dear is a sanding block and it it started out white and I got it at a craft shop in that I worked at in about 2001 and um, you can just use a nail file probably to be honest um, but it's, it's just like a, an emery board or a nail file but it's a spongy kind of block um, I used to use it a lot for distressing cardstock and stuff back in more of my altered art days, um, but it just takes off the takes off the edge. You can just use a wee piece of sandpaper if you have that, but that, that's handy. It just sits on my shelf there. Is the background stamped with Versamark? No, it is not. The background is um, an embossing folder, cheap and cheerful. Actually, so cheap it was free, it came with a magazine. <laughs> but I thought it was quite pretty. What do you think? Quite, quite pretty design. Let's 
take this bad boy down. Oh, someone said they wanted to do chibi tonics. We could put a light in here, couldn't we? We could put a light behind it. Now we're cooking on gas. Aunt Petunia said she wanted chibi tonics. Let's do that then. Oh, I got some lawn fawn stamps um, ages ago <coughs> and I didn't use them. It was the light up ones. Oh, maybe I could use one of these as well. I've got that from Chibi Comics. I still haven't been using that yet. Let's have a little look at what I've got. Lucky stars. Oh, it's not quite the right thing. I love all the names of the animals at your birthday event. <laughs> I, I knew the names of the animals and I forgot the names of the people. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I don't have any stars. What have I done with my background? I could put stars on it, but it doesn't really go with my theme. Push me, push me, push me. The love heart might work up there. You shine. I don't think I want that one. I want something that says like color or something. Let's see what I've got. I know I have, um, I've got the long fun, you know, the crayon one. But it's the American spelling, so I'm not a fan of that muchly. You color my world. This is one of those times where you guys are going to have to um, going to have to have a little bit of input. <laughs> and I know I've got a what's it called? Technic Tuesday maybe. That said something. It's like an Ali Edwards and Technic Tuesday. Oh, it says you make my world that much brighter. Thank you. So that might work. Although I'm not sure whether that really fine one will work on them. Um, will work with embossing on like because I wanted to do maybe it on black. Or I do have hundreds of sentiment stamps that I probably haven't even looked at. Do, 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 do. Hello beautiful, I could just do something like that, hello beautiful. Maybe I could find something with like hugs because it looks like he's holding that out, holding his hands out. Clearly Posada have chameleon set with crayons and the UK version of colour. I do not have that. You could do the you and my world and write the word colour. Yep, I've done that before. That works. Let me see. Boy, is our view. Let me just check these other ones. I do have other clearly besotted like texts, which are quite good. You make me happy. You're incredible. What's this one? You're one in a million. Times like this, I'm like. 
I should make a stamp that does exactly what I'm after. <laughs> I do also have sending you wishes for a rainbows and unicorns kind of day or happy birthday wishing you rainbows and, and eternal happiness. I think we'll just go for something a bit more basic. We can put that one on the inside. Let's see. What about you give me the feels? You make me crazy happy. love you I mean it I might do that one I love you I mean it so we'll have I love you I mean it a love heart here with a light behind it and then on the in oh sorry on the inside you make my world that much brighter how's that and a light up chibitronics for Aunt Petunia because she's just it's her first time today and it would just be rude for me to not do as she asked on her first um, her first hungry happy video. And when we stamp this up um, at some point shortly, I'm going to do a giveaway. you I mean it <laughs> hi Elsie literally just went and bought the interactive Leo stamp set yay I love an interactive card it must be said some of these people here on this stream might actually say that I'm a little bit obsessed with interactive cards but um well yes it would be true <laughs> it would indeed it's now got to this stage where especially with my chibitronics card it's like it's not it's not enough to light up it needs to light up and shake or it needs to light up and spin or, <laughs> or whatever get carried away But it's all part of the fun. So tonight, guys, Snow, this is this is for you. Um, I was talking to Snow a little while ago, and um, I was talking about the fact that I've got two heat guns. And one heat gun is a heated up. It's a blue one. It's not really that fancy, but it's it's like bog standard for the industry but the other one is a is a ranger one and it is much slower and it is um, not like yet yeah, slower and it's quieter and it still has noise but it is quieter Are you plugged in So tonight, guys, I'm going to sh I'm going to show you them both. So this is the the normal one that I normally use. And then this is the other one. And normally I normally I mute the the stream if I'm using my heat tool, but I'll very quickly use them for a few seconds so that you can hear the difference and um, and then you guys can mute on your end if you want to but I just want you guys to hear the difference um, between them in case that would affect what you purchase okay so this is the blue one you ready And then this 
this is this one here. And I'm going to use this one, but I need to wait for it to get hot. I heard Tim Holt say that Ranger 1 was designed for drying rather than embossing. So if you want to use it for that, it takes longer. Um, perhaps, I, I guess, but um, this is the one that I first got because when I started stamping, I'm hoping you can still hear me. Um, I'll pay you in a second. <laughs> When I started stamping, <laughs> um, um, the big thing was triple embossing. So I'm not sure if you've seen triple embossing. You take a Versa mark and you go swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. You cover it in embossing powder and you melt like a panel of it. And while it's still hot, you pour on more embossing powder and you melt it. And then while that's still hot, you pour on more because it's triple, right? So you get three layers. And then what you do is you take a stamp, normally it was a rubber one, I, um, and you sort of quick, quickly tap it into this so that it's a release, and you push it down, and you smoosh it down through the three layers of the embossing. So what you're left with is this debossed image. It almost has a metal look to it. It's really, it's really quite cool. Like, it was very popular when I was in the craft shop because it was in Scotland, we had a lot of stamps that had little Celtic designs. So you could have like a little Celtic knot, emboss it, triple emboss it, and then cut it into the circle or in a heart or whatever, bada boom. Um, but the problem with this is as soon as you put down the powder, this was blowing the powder away. It wasn't actually giving it a chance to sit and melt. So this one, you were, it, it wasn't powerful enough to blow it away, but also it had like it's so got a wider nozzle so you could do a wider area at any one time rather than having a really concentrated bit this one here whenever people get it sometimes they hold it a bit too close and they singe the paper that holds it like here um, and this one is a, a lot more forgiving because it won't blow all the little powdery bits away um, but also it's I think, like you say, it, it still gets hot, but it's not got the concentrated heat of this one. So there you go. Little education lesson for you today. Got them on the floor. Gosh, that takes me back to my days in the craft shop. <laughs> I'm glad that you can hear it. So Maria, why does it have a cow on it? Well, it's got a heffy on it. I am um, so th they are actually normally white and not that strange pink color I in my crafting youth got a bit carried away with some alcohol inks I like to be different you guys probably know that already here's another tip I shared in a video recently if your piece of cardstock is too skinny, add a bit of tape to it and position it. There we go. Is Heffy a cow? Yeah, Heffy's a cow. Do not know that. Do not know the story of Heffy. The the reason that I'm called Hungry Heffy is that. Going back to my earlier conversation about being um, <laughs> intolerable, is probably the right word, intolerable whenever I'm hungry. I also have eyes bigger than my belly. Now I'm not sure if this is a Irish saying or a UK saying, my eyes are bigger than my belly. Um, but essentially it means that when I'm hungry, I will literally pie my plate like this. And when 
I was going out with Craig, he was marveling, shall I say, at the fact that I could eat so much food. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to go left justified. What have I done on my little one? I have lost it now. Yeah, he was marveling at the fact that I could eat so much and he was he called me a hungry heifer, which is it was all in jest, I assure you. Um but a heifer is a female cow. And um he had said this <clears throat> a couple of times. And then one day I was being a bit snarky. <clears throat> and I was like, okay, can you stop doing that, please? Because I'm going to get a complex to like, just stop calling me a heifer. I am I am a girl and I, and I have feelings. Stop that. <laughs> and he just put his arm around me and said, um, oh, you're my hungry heifer. Like, it's a term of endearment. And of course, I was just like, okay. <laughs> okay, then, Craigie. I I uh, I forgive you. This piece is slightly too big. We say eyes bigger than stomach here in the U.S. Ha! Not the U.S. in Australia. Oh no! What have I done? Perfectionist gone wrong. I would change my blade, but they are away in the back of one of my drawers over there. Okay, okay. So I have this about here, I reckon. Thing to measure this out. So I want my light to be here. So I'm making a hole here. So if I was, if I'd stamp this straight onto the background, I could just put the light behind. But it's going to um, be a bit better if if the light is straight up against that. I think, and I'll I'll probably just stamp a a heart in red. So let's line this bad boy up roughly. There's my light. And we'll put the battery like here. Squiggle, squiggle. Oh, lost our words. So that's roughly like here. So thank you muchly to Snow for gifting me some batteries so that I could do this tonight. And I will go for, I'm gonna go for pink. Should I go for pink? Is that going to be okay? Oh, there's no pink in here though. Maybe I should go for red. I don't have, I have one red left.
the Oslo, maybe that um, heat tool is um, kind of a better a better sound because I know that you have um, you're sensitive to the sound, aren't you? So maybe something like that. Is better than um, than the, than what you have at the moment. Certainly, it might be worth checking out. Stacy's here. Hey, Stacy. I had a lovely birthday. Thank you so much. It feels like a million years since I um, have been hanging out with you guys. <laughs> Last time you mentioned running out and I had some lying around. Ah, you're the best. Okay, so for my light up card, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to know where you're going to put your light. So I've measured behind my front panel here and that's where my light's going to be. And then you need to make a little flap that will house your battery so it needs to stick onto your card and needs to fold up over your battery but if you make that flap a bit longer so you can tuck this bit in on top of itself that helps you get the connection that you need although I get the feeling I've done this upside down but that's fine you live and you learn so one has to go from here up to your light so let's just do that I made that just long enough and no more. And you can use a bone folder to burnish it down, but I just use my nail because I'm lazy. Stacy says that she missed my last come cat with me, but the kiddos are back at school now. Piper goes back to school next Wednesday. Well, I didn't have a come cat with me last week because I um, got whisked away. And I have to let you guys know that I actually won't, I sincerely doubt, that's probably the right words to say, that I will have anything next week because, I, oh actually, let me do some math. No, I will not be here next week because I am doing my workshops. So I will be in Orlando and I'm pretty sure that when I start here at nine o'clock in Eastern, Eastern time, it's like four, I think. And I will still be in the middle of my workshops at that time. But I might do I might do some like little live sessions or something, whether on Facebook or on YouTube, just little snippets of the the event. I think that might be fun. <laughs> okay, so we've got a battery here. We've got one side positive, one side negative, and um, it. It matters in regards to the fact that um, this, what's the word, the light is a little triangle and one side is negative and one side is positive. So this is positive, I'm going to put my positive down, which is the stick side here. Ta-da! Stacy says, by the way, your interactive aeroplane card was genius. Oh, thank you. See that card? I, I was just like, I have an idea. I am going to make this work. 
and I sketched it and I planned it and I pottered around with a pencil in my mouth and I was like I am going to make this and um, I'm going to make this work and I did such a good feeling <laughs> How are we doing for time? Okay, just gone past 10. All good. Put a little bit of tape in here. Sometimes I use glossy accents, but other times I'm just lazy. <laughs> I think you guys know that already about me. Da 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 da. Get so excited. So the only thing about this is that in order to push it down, okay, so there's a couple of things we can do. Either I can raise it up so that it, um, you have to push it down, which actually might work because this is quite a thick, foamy, warmy. Mm, yeah, it's about the same thickness as, as the battery. Um, or we can have a slidey mechanism coming in the side. So that is, let's give that a go maybe. So I'm back to my, this is the foam tape that I got from eBay that I hated because it gunks up my scissors and then I realized that actually I love it because once it's stuck man that is not going anywhere that is the thing so if we want to do a little thing out the side maybe I'll use some hefty doodle interactive with yours dancing So I will leave a gap here. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to be. Okay, it needs to be like here to here. If in doubt, use tape. Like there. Maria's off to bed. Good night, my dear. Catch you at the weekend. Bye. Uh, I know it's late for you guys, especially in Europe. I keep meaning to find um like a better time. But it's not really ready. You can't please everybody either. This is going to go on like this, and I've got a little gap here. And I'm going to put a piece of um, card in there so it can slide in and out. So let me get my little, my little black piece of card, and I want it to go in and out of here. But I'll probably only want it to be, maybe I'll stamp it first. Elsie Lou is saying, woo, yes. I think that's because of my interactive layers. <laughs> Mention them then. Okay, what do we need? We need pull me. Pull me. I feel like I need to move my table in. Can you still see? Pull me. Pull me or pull here? I think pull me. You're so tiny. So Elsie, this is one thing that I mentioned on one of my other um one of my other streams is that the messages are so tiny that they're going to work better 
with like a dye based ink um, so or, well actually saying that they're going to work better with something that is um, like a, um, an ink pad that's not really squishy because it's got uh, as deep a channel as I could get in between the letters but um, because they're so small there's, there's um, the ink if it's a really really juicy ink pad it can kind of pull in there it doesn't damage the stamp or anything but um, just giving you some tips and I am going to I think I might want to try with a distress oxide even though I've just told you that it's going to work better with something that's not that juicy <laughs> and distress oxides are juicy but let's give it a go I'm going to get my head in the way here. Pull me. Lovely jubbly. So that was, what was that? Antique linen. I just wanted something that was quite, quite neat. Oh, before Snow goes, let or um, Maria goes, let's do the giveaway. Why not? Okay, so recap on giveaways that's happening, and um, we're going to do a giveaway just now on uh, for for you guys who are watching the stream. Um, but also this week we have on the Hungry Heavy Crafts blog, you will see that there is a collaboration between Studio Katia and Chibitronics. You can be in with a chance to win some goodies there. Head on over and get the details about Hungry Heavy Crafts. Also, I'm doing a giveaway for my birthday. Um, it's on Instagram. Uh, you can also enter on places like Facebook because I copied the post over there. Um, and really what I'm trying to do is grow my YouTube audience and get more people here to join us on a Friday night. Um, so if we can get more people to join the and subscribe to youtube that would be awesome so go and enter there as well tomorrow i am on um i'm taking part in another video blog hop for love from lizzie and she does card kits and the card kit um is like a monthly card kit but she's doing a massive prize anyway you win a year's subscription to the card kit and so much goodies so keep an eye out on my youtube tomorrow for that but for now you guys a winner can win the curious kitties stamp set which is from honeybee stamps that i helped design back in february so what we normally do here is not very technical but is kind of fun is that I write down a number between 1 and 50 and you guys have to say one number so write uh, write once a number between 1 and 50 and um, after about a few minutes when I think everybody has given in a guess then we will see if anyone has won the prize. It is open internationally as well, so don't be afraid to enter. Um, we tend to have a couple of silent people who watch along, but hopefully they'll join in um, for the giveaway. So numbers between one and 50, and I shall write my number down here. at my um I'll look at my pencil to see if it um if you can figure out what's going to be <laughs> so guys numbers between one and fifty on you go Tally says she won the ox oxide pads as did I. You don't have to say that, Tally. You can just be a very, very lucky person. 
Frau Ankara Therese Alhaya. Okay, let's do this little guy while you guys are. I'm going to make this. It's actually quite long. So, oh, I should actually be paying attention to see if my number is coming up. Anyone else coming in? Anyone who hasn't given in a number yet? Hi Sophie S. Hi Stephanie Thibault. <laughs> Elizabeth says she's a dog person. <laughs> okay. This is going to go to the side like this. And we want it to go behind this flap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I was literally about to steal that and I don't want to do that just yet. And um, I'm going to try and make like a little channel for it to sit in just to try and guide it along. Sophie says she had a late class today. Well, thank you for joining us anyway. I know it's a bit of a weird time for some of you guys. Okay, I think that we are ready to reveal and see who the winner is. But before I do that, I'm going to just, I wrapped a piece of um, paper around here. Just so that I have like a little like channel to move it along in. It'll not make sense until it makes sense. So let me just do that then. Okay. So this kind of slides up and down. Kind of, I want to kind of hold it in place. Right, are we ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 23. Do we have a winner? Number 23. Let's have a little look. Um, no, sorry, Alma. Sorry, Martina. No, Elsie. Mm -mm. Sophie, no, no. Let's see. Um, oh, Suze, Suze, I think Suze has won. Yay, crafty Suze. Congratulations, congratulations. Please, please send me a um, email to um, info at heftydoodle.com with your address. I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere, but um, in the interest of making sure that I actually have it to hand, that would be much appreciated. I'm trying to figure out if I can do this. I think we're just gonna have to pull it in, in and out like this. Okay, let's do that. Congrats and good night, bye Maria. Goodbye, my dear. Truly. Right, let's stick this on. I think I can hear you screaming, Sue. <laughs> there you go, Sue. Now you've got the kitty kids. I shall get them in the post to you, hopefully tomorrow. Although I do have to go and buy Piper some school uniform tomorrow because she goes back to school on Wednesday <laughs> a matching pair of dogs and cats congratulations so 
much for me wanting to do fast cards. I get so carried away with talking to you guys. I'll blame you anyway. Let's see. Oops. Going back to the fact that I said that this is like the stickiest thing in the world. Stickiest tape. I want to make sure that I don't do this wrong. Okay, so pull me. It's not gonna do it. That's all right. I shall fix that later. I've used foam tape, which is a bit too high, obviously. Right, and I've made a mess. Oh, Jasmine's here. Hey, Jazz. I think you just sent me a message, but um, I'm busy hanging with my homies. <laughs> oh, Tammy's here. Hey, girl. Okay. I decided to center. And I will snip here. Oh, nope, I will snip slightly off. Because that's where my scissors fit. Ah, oh, that's fine. Oh. I might need actually just to put push me on his belly. Instead of the pull me, because it looks like it's not going to stick down. Glue dots. Oh, thank you. I had a great birthday. It was really busy in the fact that we went away and um, um, our weekend was amazing, but we did something. We pretty much did something every day last weekend, which was pretty epic, to be honest. We went to Manchester the first day, the first day, and um, they had um, like gay pride on, so maybe that's why I'm channeling the rainbows today as well. But there was festivals and music and all sorts of shenanigans happening. Stamp a heart in there before sticking that down. And I might as well use my Heffy Doodle one. Put this little little baby back in. I am going to use my Misty for this though. that I can. Well, I must show you what I got in my um, stash that I bought at Seven Hills Stamps. I must show you that as well before I go. Okay. Love the happy colour palette and the super cute image. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm going to go for red. Actually, I'm going to go for Abandoned Coral. It's a little pink for my palette, but I might layer it up with a 
red river color. Actually, it's not that bad. I need to label all of my ink pads, but Piper basically came into the craft room and started playing with my label machine. So needless to say, I need to order more of those. So when I go to grab a Distress Oxide, it doesn't have the color or the name on the side. So I need to pull everyone out and inevitably it's like the last one that I pick. Okay, giving up on that. Let's just go for hobby craft, cheap and cheerful one. There we go. You definitely want to see what I got. I should have used that for today's card. Oh well, maybe I can make another card if you're still awake. So this one's new done, isn't it? I shouldn't have stamped him because I might want to put a push me there. Anyway, never mind. Can you see it? this little guy down. Ta-da! I love you, I mean it. Push, push. And um, I wanted to put the You make this world, you you make my world that much brighter. Thank you. I think that would work well. You make my world that much brighter, thank you. Has a bit more of a I guess distressed look maybe, is that the right term? There we go. And I'm actually just gonna stamp this in black, good old memento. because some of the text is really fine. So a nice solid black on a hard foam ink pad. <laughs> Squeaks your cheek. That'll do the trick, I think. kind of has that kind of a distressed look to it anyway like the the word that or um, it looks like or most of the letters actually looks like it's been done with a typewriter so it has like a shadow behind it but I think it's pretty I'll be up for another card it's only half seven here are you all up for another card number two let's see what we've got there we go I love you, I mean it. You make my world that much brighter, thank you. Aww. I kinda wanna do splatters on the inside, but let's move on to card two. If you're all up for that, let's see what we can see what we can do. But first let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. Okay, ready? Here it is. So, 
ATG gun. I I ran out ages ago and I never got around to replenishing it and I've been using tape but I decided that especially for the streams and for videos it takes too much time to like pull off the tape so I want to get my ATG gun back in action so that's the hat. Some lawn fun ings. So this is called ice cream parlor and we've got peachy keen butter minty fresh and deep sea so i'm excited about those oh snow's heading off no worries sweet dreams my dear and then some pinks i realized that i don't have an awful lot of pinks and you'd be surprised the amount of variations of pinks i will pick a pink I've already got a couple of pinks and I'll be like, mm, that one's too light, mm, that one's too dark, that one's too bright, that one's too orangey, and that one's too neon. So I didn't have any nice pinks, so I got this one, which was quite cool. Amanda's up for another card. And, um... So a mama elephant die that says happy. So this is one they've had out for a little while. Um, and every time I see it, I'm like, I'll be right back. So I just decided to buy it. And another mama elephant one that says hooray. And um, I think this is slightly newer, but um, also one that I had my eye on, so I got that too, I got that too. Well, Sue says that um, Alton makes are really good. Oh good, because this is the first ones I've had. Just checking there's nothing else lurking in there. And, ooh, outside in stitched scallop rectangle. And this was one that I saw on someone's card. I was like, okay, I need that. So I splurged. Uh, the, the big dies are so expensive, but I figured that it was enough of a staple that I would reuse it. So it cuts along the scallop, but then it embosses the stitch line on both sides, which is really nice. So there's my my purchases but let me show you the other thing that maybe we can play with for card number two um, that I would be looking for for such a long time <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I still can't quite believe it because it's been in my wish list for so long and I haven't really got to play with them much um, and I know it's going to take a little bit of practice but maybe we could use some of these for um, for the next card if we're up for it and you can watch me fail miserably but it'll be really funny <laughs> so pretty Happiness is craft products. It's true. <laughs> Green with envy. Oh, I'm sorry, Carrie. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Hey, let's play with them, okay? Okay. Right, another card. Let's do it. So, I'm not really feeling like Halloween anymore. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to that another day. Ah, I'm not gonna admit myself. But I'm gonna do another card. And I'm gonna do another rainbow. Let's put these away. Or at least over there. I have been staring at these inks and I want to do another another rainbow. So let's do a rainbow. I'm going to do a little 
masking and use some stencils I think I know I am so chuffed so excited okay so in the birthday giveaway stuff is one of these yes I accidentally bought two so what of it <laughs> um, um, yeah so I'm I wanted to use that in this show tonight so let me grab some washi tape to stick her down got a couple here stuck to my craft mat and I will try to somewhat center it a little bit here <laughs> oh and Karen you're going on um, a US holiday oh where are you going where are you going where are you going so, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I thought I would layer some of my stencils. So this is actually a piece of acetate that I cut many moons ago with my Silhouette Cameo. It might have been my Craft Robo back so far long ago. Um, but I'm going to layer this up because I like the way you can get different results with layering. But I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more of you. Right, let's get inky. How could you not do a rainbow with 80 new markers? I know they're so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. I have this fear that it's going to be really, really difficult though. I've heard people say that it it um, definitely takes a little bit of time to, to get used to them. Oh, you're going to Georgia. You'll be able to see Crafty Sue's. Your friends have have hired a house for the week. Amazing. Suze, you'll have to tell us um, if you know any exciting things to do. Of course, I'm assuming that because you live in Georgia that it is anywhere near to, <laughs> to Atlanta. It could be anywhere, I suppose. <laughs> don't quite remember your full address. <laughs> Rainbows are the best. I need another one of these and one short. Richard of York gave Battle in the rain. Does everybody in the world use that mnemonic device? Or is that a, a Brit thing? Burp, burp. Someone is burping me. So, um, reminder that no long, anyway, um, Come craft with me next week because I will be doing some workshops. I'm going to try and do a couple of lives or maybe Instagram lives or something like that. I'm not, I don't even know yet. It depends how exhausted I am. I'm doing four workshops in one day. I think I'm a bit nuts. I think I'm going to lose my voice and everything. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be much of a shame to be honest. I'm really looking forward to it but I'm also in that panicky mode of oh my gosh have I prepped everything is everything ready and um, while we turn up and I have completely forgotten about something totally obvious just standard standard shenanigans Rainbows are the best. 
I say that everything is the best. <laughs> Have you figured that out? Animals are the best. Rainbow are the best. Dressings are the best. I'm like a dog like that. This is my favorite thing to do. Pretty. I was going to suggest the Cult Museum, the Aquarium, Ferris Wheel, and Theme City, and even the CNN tour is pretty, pretty cool. So look how that turned out. Isn't it pretty? And it was quick, relatively painless. <laughs> relatively painless. It was painless. <laughs> Except I've left everything to the side as always. Abandonment. Carrie, is your question to me, Nina Solar White? Are you talking about this? No, this is not Nina Solar White. This is cheap and cheerful hobby craft because um because I'm a because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> no, um because I normally just um what I do is I get a ream of A4 paper or card, sorry, and then I take it to the printer and I got them to cut it into different sizes. So I have lots of off off um cuts. Because normally what I'm doing is actually sticking stuff on top of my base layer. So I, this is not Nina. I do have some Nina and I do have some other bits and pieces, but um, it'll do the job. And I'm going to use, if I'm going to use my zig for a little design, I will use Bristol. And a Bristol cardstock because word on the street is that it's actually it takes to the zig really well but I don't really know because I have not ever used them before okay what are you you are Mama Elephant Stitched Landscape Trio. I seem to have trouble getting my distress inks onto the paper. Really? Really? I don't think I've ever had that problem. Are they, oh, I mean, some of my distress inks are old, so old. Oh, I don't like the way that that's off center. Try again. Maybe it's because I only have the little one inch cubes. I don't know. I don't think that should be a, a thing because I have heard so many people say that the one inch cubes are just as good. That's about a half a centimeter long each cube. So, um, I don't know. Is it Nina Solar White that you use? lovely jubbly let's get I think I'm gonna use a rainbow a rainbow stamp oh not a rainbow <sighs> unicorn the lot I think I'm gonna use the lawn fawn unicorn stamp for this maybe so seeing as I pulled this one out earlier I'm going to have <laughs> sending you wishes for a rainbows and unicorns kind of day 
Yeah, I'm suspicious about that, Carrie, because I think that loads of people rave about the one the one inch minis being awesome. Have you tried different papers? did I buy in my thing? Is there anything that would look good on this? I think this might be too light to read a sentiment like that. Maybe I could do a dark grey. Mm -mm -mm. Or maybe just black. Maybe I'll just go for black. Carrie, I use little cubes. Make sure you're getting enough on the dauber and then start light handed and then ink. As the ink transfers, get heavier handed. Good tips there. I don't have any of the little mini cubes. I've only got the beasties. Just check my white card sock is from Rec Collections, a brand stole by an AC Moore over here. I, I don't know. I mean, I've used lots of cheap card stock as well as Nina and um, one of the card stock that Snow actually introduced me to, which is called um, Claire Fontaine DCP paper, digital color digital colour printing paper or something like that and it it's really good but even even like I say cheap and cheerful ones like this it's not expensive it was a I think it was 50 pieces of card it might even be 100 for like two pounds something like that You do use the dauber, okay, good. And I think it's probably practice as well. Like the more that you play with it, you get to know them. Certainly if you if you get used to a paper and then you change your paper, it feels like, whoa, what's going on here? So I've stamped that with my Mama Elephant Unicorns and Rainbows stamp set. And I have added a little embossing ink to the edge, just to the the fluff, the flumpy edge, as I call it. Where's that piece of paper that I ripped out earlier? Never mind. I'll use this one. I'm the kind of person that has got a million pieces of card in her craft room and not a single piece of paper <laughs> for embossing. So I'm going to use some holographic embossing powder which is essentially just going to give it a glittered feel. Looking very pretty, thank you. And probably the quickest one ever so far. Okay, I'm gonna put on the heat tool again um, so we can get another blast of that. Not that it's very loud. And I will, um, while that's warming up actually I will pull out my lawn fawn unicorn stamp and die. There it is. It's a cute one. It's 
super hot though. Like I say, it's got a more of a range to it, so like it's definitely heating up my fingers over here. I have to hold it, kind of point it away. Cuteness. <laughs> right, let's grab some Bristol for this guy. not allowed to laugh at me if this goes terribly wrong although I'll probably laugh with you to be fair <laughs> what have you guys all been playing with this week then Oh no, who was it that said the neat and tangled release is out? What what is part what is it? What do they have? I want to know. I haven't seen it yet. Is it fall? Fall related. do another one for good measure just in case okay it was a sneak on Elena's Instagram <laughs> And is it a stamp timber one, do you reckon? Or is it just a release, um, a standard release for them? Speaking about releases, I'm working on our next release. Very exciting. Never quite goes as fast as I would like it to go, but I'll try and do a little bit more on it this weekend. Okay, let's get this, these little guys coloured in. And I'm not going to worry too much about colours. Oh yeah, I know Mum to Sophia, yeah, she's really good, I like her. What have we got then? This card. I just looked over and my card now lit up. Where's my little my little doodah? Pop it in there. Stop it from wasting my battery. Okay. Are you going to give us any hints about your next week? Nope. Mostly because um, I don't know <laughs> when I'm going to get it all sorted, to be honest. It's all very, um, I have a plan, I have a plan, but plans don't always work. Okay, maybe I will give you some hints, but not now, not now, on another stream perhaps. <laughs> Keep you hanging. Okay. It's a bit neon for me, so I'll have to blend this guy out with my lighter pink. That's alright. Oh, I like the way it blends.
Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I bought once upon a time a pen when I was in America, and I was like, I'll buy this because eventually, when I buy my Zig, this will work. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Koi brush pen which is pretty much like I believe a colorless blender yes get in there let's go with this one beads a little definitely think this is going to need a little bit of practice. Okay, so far so good. Here comes Craigie. Hey Craigie. Oh good, he's brought me a drink. You hear me go, eh. <laughs> Blue. to get these all swatched up so I can see them better. You can tell I have to concentrate because I get quiet. <laughs> uh, maybe like a purple next. There's a light purple. happening what's happening Craigie can you guys hear me okay concernedhusband.com I think I'll have a um, yellowy orange then for the middle one maybe. Ooh, yeah, I really like that yellow. Is that really that? Oh, no thanks. I think I'll need to um, get these all switched up and practice. It's going to be louder for everyone. Is that what you said? Try not to shout down then. Put a little blue down here. And what color shall I have? For the mm. I shall just commit to blue and a blue corn as well. That's all right for a first attempt. And I maybe a little wink of Stella. Stella! Oh, big blob of Stella happening here.
You can touch the tips of two colours together to get them back. Oh, good tip. Eh, tip. Right tip. I shall have to try that the next time. A bit like um, Copics there. This is really juicy, I feel like. Maybe it's been used by a six-year-old without supervision. Um, marker swatches are must. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you okay? Mm -hmm. Trash in the joint. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you for my water. I think he turned out okay considering considering I'm an amateur I like a water but oh yeah I never even thought of that of course it's watercolor although I think my water brush is inside in my emergency craft kit from my holiday shenanigans Add a few little white lines with a gel pen. I've just put that away, but I wanted to do one more thing. Which is use the die to cut some foam and then raise her up. Raise her up a little. audio I could hear some distortion but hopefully that's better now. Craig used to be an audio producer so he gets a little bit obsessed with making it just right. Thankfully he does not give up. He wants it to be constantly better and better so you guys can enjoy the videos better and more. This little girl on here. She's getting well sparkly now. Oh, you're beautiful. I'm gonna give you three little cheeky cheek dots. I think she's lovely. She needs a bit of glaze pen on her eye. And then set aside so I don't smudge it. So many times I smudge it. Guys, we've made two cards already. 
it's not even midnight. We've got like 50 minutes before my usual signing off time. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, my, my desk is an absolute mess, but oh, it's not connecting there. So I've got two cards, rainbowish, rainbow feeling. Maybe we should make something of my new dies. Okay, guys, I agree. Let's make something with my new dies. Any suggestions? Or requests, indeed? I just want to see how these cut. Oh, they're gonna be attached eh? Let's knit these bad boys apart. Oh, I was gonna do a shaker card. Let's do a shaker card with the two. Let's do it. Do you think we can make it? This is gonna be some sort of record for me. This is me doing three cards to make up for the fact that I wasn't here last week and to make up for the fact that um, I'm not going to be here next week. <laughs> How to step away? Have you been using your zigs? Yes, let me show you. Let me show you. I've made another card, Carrie. A whole of the card. Can you believe it? Card one. Card two. Oh, the color kind of looked wrong. She's not as dull. She's like a brighter pink in real life. Kind of like a candy floss pink. I know speed, speed card making. What's going on? <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. I need to, um, I'll leave them there. She can see them. I need to cut this so I can have an idea of what it actually looks like. And then, um, so yeah, let's just work on my white seam as I've got it here. So this is exactly, oh yeah, that's not gonna be big enough. So this is, four and a half by five and a quarter no five and a half by four and a quarter so this big one is bigger than that what are you the big one is four and a half oh okay by five and three quarters I guess the scalloped one then is um like card size let's give it a go I might just cut it out of some big paper. You have a great sense for colour. Oh, thanks. I just like crafting. What does it do in my plate? I told you my plate is a mess. I'm gonna have to use my glitter one. Oh, hello. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, guys. I don't know whether I said, but it's so pretty. I like it a lot. So we're gonna use some tulle, and we're gonna use some sequins. So 
I've got white tulle and then I could use these sequins, couldn't I? And maybe do some flowers or something on the outside. So I'm going to need a base for my card. That's fine. I'll just use like one of these. Leslie, did you see on your Facebook I posted that I'd got the birthday card for you? Ah, oh, yes, I did see that. And I was like, I can't believe it took so long to arrive. I'm sorry it took so long to arrive, girl. But I'm glad that you like it. Bless you. Okay, so we are going to have one of these. We are going to have another one of these actually but for the base because I don't want it to be I don't want to have like a peaky coming out unless I have a color I don't know whether there's enough color to make it nice and we're gonna have some of these little guys Ooh, pull them off now I've got pinks and yellows and blues so i think we should have like a circle or something in the middle maybe the lawn not lawn from the mama elephant all pretty up dye would be really sweet in there let's see what we've got mm, this one carries on with the um, scallopy kind of feeling. Not my fault, mail from anywhere to Brisbane takes ages. So what I don't understand, you got your heffy doodle, right? Oh, maybe your heffy doodle was sent from America and that's why it, because it mustn't have taken too long to get to you. I should have cut another one. Okay, let's do another one of those now. From the UK, it seems hit and miss. Oh, and slow. Oh, that is sad. I am sorry. I'm totally not fair. I do not approve of that, <laughs> the fact that it takes such a long time. Okay, okay. I'm going to back this one against the other. Um, and I'm going to cut another one of these, use up on my white card stock. I think I'm going to have to go and buy some more white card stock tomorrow. So this one, this third one, is going to be my base for my card. So let's get these other stragglers out of the way. Happy Doodle from the US, 23rd of August, arrived the first. Oh, and then the thing I sent you for your birthday, it was sent late, it wasn't on your birthday, that's for sure, but it, um, that's crazy that it took that long. Maybe cut the card base to smaller than the scallops. Oh, yep, yeah, that could have worked as well. I'm just going to layer these up and then put a crease in one of it, or one of them, so that it it folds. But I want to see if I can cut this again in exactly the same spot. I'm 
which sometimes can be a little hit and miss. Or I could do a slightly smaller circle, so it's got a, it's got like a, an edge and I can maybe ink it up. Thinking on the fly. Let's see what we've got here. Could work. that big strip left over from all my inking so I just might as well make use of it. So you guys haven't been telling me what you've been making this week. Anything? Have you been getting crafty? I've been busy with my projects for my design team stuff and collaborations, making my Tibetronic stuff, plus obviously being away. Oh, Carrie's making Christmas cards. Oh, that's a little busy. I think I'll definitely need to add some color in there to make it a pop. Bear in mind, I will have so many pretties in there. Okay, you guys need to move so that I can make a plan. And I think I will ink up this inside with... I think a blue. What colour is that blue? Let's see what we've got. This might work. Give it a shot. I think that'll work. Um, I've been waiting by the post box for new goodies. I've been planning Christmas shadow box cards. Oh, nice. Halloween favors. Ooh. I suppose you guys are back at school, so we're not back at school yet. So Halloween still feels like, well, summer's not over. Although, like I say, Piper's back on. Piper is back on Wednesday, and I fight on America on Wednesday. So Craig has to do back to school early up and out the door which guys I'm really worried about do you think some of you guys could phone Craig at um, <laughs> an ungodly time in the morning I think that would be great okay Looking good. Let's get my tool down. Third week. Third week in California. Wow. I would have liked that because then I would have actually had my birthday when I was at school. So my birthday is the 26th of August, 
but we in Ireland nearly always went back on the 1st of September. So my birthday would literally be like the Thursday or something and then the next week we would go back to school and everybody else who had their birthday on like the 1st, 2nd, 3rd of September, they'd get a big song and dance and they would get um, like our parties and everything. I need to remember not to go too close because I can see some of that blue. And I was like, oh, my birthday was like last week. It's less than a week since I had my birthday. But my birthday never really got the big holiday blue. But it was, it was a blessing and a curse because when you reached a certain age, when it was your birthday, you would get lynched and then people would roll on your face with marker pen. So kind of glad that my birthday went by quietly for a little while um what part of oh hold well on i've been reorganizing my craft from design an ink pad holder that my <gasps> can i can i see it and slash buy one because that sounds like something that i would very much enjoy i want to see it um what part of america i'm going to orlando I think that's how they say it. <laughs> Orlando, where's my box? Here we go. Um, it is a, oh. So Suze, are you saying that you need to kind of pull it tight? Is that the, the, the trick do you reckon? Okay, let's cut this down anyway. Definitely won't need it any wider than this. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Okay. Um, there is a retailer event and um, I'm a bit concerned that this isn't going to stick properly. Um, I am doing some workshops for the company that make the Go Press and Foil Machine and also Aladdin, which is a French company that sell like inks and stuff. So I'm doing some workshops for those guys, which I'm really looking forward to. Okay, I've pulled it tight almost to the extent that my paper is buckling. So I may need to rethink that one. But let's trim this guy down. We're about to finish our school term. School holidays start in two weeks. Wow. Every time I talk to you though, um, Elizabeth, I'm always like, wow, it just blows my mind. We're just so stupid because it's not exactly that big of a deal. You live on the other side of the world, of course, everything's going to be different. So I'm thinking I might want some Swiss dots on this bad boy. So let's see if I can find my embossing folder. Old Faithful. If it's big enough is the question. Because in the UK, they're not as thick, normally, I mean as wide. Might be able to make it work. Hmm, I think I might need to do two runs. Okay. It's about the first week of August, but they get out early. Ooh. I'm 
got it says that her birthday is the 20th of December and you usually get out yeah I remember it would be like between the 20th and the, well like the 24th I, I'm, I've, I have memories I may have made them up <laughs> stranger things have happened in my life I think I remember being there on like no not like Christmas Eve but like the 23rd or maybe it just felt like Christmas Eve because I, it was like it's the last day so we have to act like it's Christmas Eve Swiss dots a bit of Swiss dots going on okay let's stick down this one do you think this one will fit maybe but I think it's going to be tight I think it's probably best to have a new one Maybe the family can join you in the next trip to Orlando. Yes, well, Craig did say that he could maybe go and, um, like, we had thought originally maybe we could make it into a holiday and go, like, a week beforehand or something and then have the Tim Collins thing towards the end. But with Heffy Doodle and stuff, we just, we couldn't make any plans. It was hard to tell like how soon the products were going to be made, when they were going to be landing um, in the UK for shipping. And I didn't want to take any risks. Like, I don't want to be like, okay, all your products are arriving in the UK. And I'm like, funny that, I'm off to America. <laughs> we were lucky that, well, less to do with luck and more to do with my obsession that, um, we managed to get it all done quickly and sorted and out the door. But yes, I'd really, really enjoy that. It's funny because I, like this time last year, I hadn't been to America at all. And then I went to Creativation and I met Sue's there. And it was best. It's definitely one of my highlights. Okay, concentration, concentration. So this really stretches one way, but doesn't really stretch the other way much. And I've put so much glue on this that I kind of need 10 hands to do anything. Okay. It's all good, my dears. Oh, this bit's a bit bumpy though. There's a little bump, but I'll have to do. So, Suze, um, when you did it, did you put foam tape in the middle or did you just put one on top of the other? I don't know whether it'd be better with the foam tape or whether I just go for it. I'll send you a picture of Peter. Thank you. <laughs> Are you going to go to Disney World? Well, <sighs> so with the scheduling of the events, the the workshop, sorry, um, they contacted me and said, right, here's the thing. We the only way we can make this work is if you have basically all four of your workshops all in one day so it's going to be a super heavy day I'm going to be wrecked to, sh to be sure and probably lose my voice and um, but it means then 
that will have a bit more time in theory. Now, I am there working for another company. So um, it kind of, I will be totally at the um, mercy of um, the chap who is bring me along the guy from that company who's lovely and um, and he is not opposed to a day trip to Disneyland however of course if if for example somebody if the business needs it essentially if someone's like oh actually can I spend some time with you talking about sales or whatever then he'll not be able to come and I probably won't be able to go so the the thing is I am not getting my hopes up but I'd really love to Piper is not impressed of course <laughs> okay I have absolutely massacred this with tape which is all good. Let's get some of these on there. Can you tell I'm holding my breath again? Ooh, smoosh. Disney World is huge compared to Disneyland. Yeah, my my good friend actually, Elizabeth, is is there at the moment. And annoyingly, she gets back like the day I go, so I won't see her for ages. Um, but I'm looking after her dog at the moment just going down and kind of checking in with with Wiggy and taking them out to the park to throw the ball bring out for walks and things although her son is there as well but he's working during the day so yeah she's there at the moment and they have I think I mentioned before they have a vlog uh, on YouTube called occasional vlog and it, um, so she's been doing little vlogs, but it's just nuts, like the size of it just seems so nuts. Hooray! Hooray? Shall we use hooray? I don't know. Shall we use hooray? Or I could use happy. But then we'll need to have a, a birthday or something maybe as well. Let's cut it out and see what size it is. should have put on my birthday wish list was new cutting pads for my Sizzix. I can't possibly put anything else on my list now because I have spent far too much money. Okay, so we've got happy. Um, obviously I wouldn't keep it white. I'd want to probably either have like a, that blue colour or um, maybe even black to really pop. I do like a pop of black next to my bright colors. Let's see what else we've got here, hooray. Hooray. Oops. The blue ink on the inside of the circle looks great, thanks. I think that was um 
a good choice. It kind of makes it pop a bit more, doesn't it? And I've just thought that I actually have an embossing powder, I think, a cosmic shimmer embossing powder, which is blue. Um, or is it? Maybe I'm thinking something else. Oh no, this is what I'm thinking of. That might be nice. It's a, a blue embossing powder. Why have I got ink on that? Random. Um, so we could have hooray. Or we could put like some flowers around it, maybe? I have got an Alton new build a rose. Will my roses work on this? I don't know whether I should just keep it quite subdued. Maybe hooray and then like a, a greeting in here. Get yourself a pair of glitter pads when you're in Orlando. That's why every time you use them, you're like, yay, I have one glitter. I have a um, gold glitter. I still need to find out where all my crafty shops are in Orlando. If anybody knows, <laughs> hook me up, please hook me up. I would muchly like that. So I had this this um, stamp. It is old and new, but it came through with a magazine, so it's not great quality. But I don't really have any of other of their like build stamp sets. And I thought um, build, build a flower set. I thought maybe I could do like a flower because the butterflies I buzz in on the flower, but it might not. might not work but sure if it doesn't work we don't use it eh that's the rule here isn't it it doesn't work so what let's see what we've got Ugh, I can tell that it's not as good quality. Donna's got that stamp set. Yay! Did you get yours free with a magazine as well? That was a whole reason I bought the magazine. <laughs> because I'm not a big floral person. I'm more of a cute, cute, cute kind of person. not given quite a crisp impression but it's just because of the quality of it I think right, this is the hardest bit I believe I'm not really sure how you figure this out Okay, that looks like it might go there. Oh, you got the, the jingle bells. Ooh, nice. Those ones are just amazing. I've seen them stamped. And isn't there one that was, um, I'm pretty sure there was one that is, uh, 
what's that called? Like one of those metal bowls that you put on Christmas presents. And it just, it, it, it's like you do a, a double take almost. It's nuts. I'm not in love with the, the outcome of this so far, guys. The Alta New Design Team always um, using a razor on the stamps when the ink starts to pull up. Um, yeah, that's good. Whenever you get a fresh stamp set, it's always good to, to do that. But this, I think, is... Um, come on. I, I don't think that's going to rescue us here. They do make good like designs though, don't they? It's pretty. It's just real not good quality. I don't think that's gonna fly. I think we just make it a bit more basic. How are we doing for time? Oh, we need to wind things up fairly soon. Pop you in there. Use you on a different project. Okay. Let's do hooray and then a greeting. Or happy and a greeting. Let's see what we've got. Um, okay. Hooray. Congratulations. That would work. Congratulations. Hooray, love always wins. That's also fun. I think we'll do congratulations. And part of me wants to emboss this in black or at least cut it in black and then put this on white. hope this doesn't get taken wrong but it's hard for me to watch the full video when they're more than one hour and I like to watch it live I watch them in pauses after it's live of course no I, I understand Um, oops it, it and that's kind of part of the reason why um, I'm going for like a couple of I thought I would do little cards well I say little cards are still spending a little while at them but um doing instead of one intense card shall I say doing a couple of smaller ones it takes a while for us to get set up um, and it's not always easy trying to find a time that suits although maybe whenever Piper goes back to school we might be able to schedule something in during our day I don't know what there it is I don't know what that's going to be like for you guys depending on where you're based so for me it's like nine o'clock when I start but for some people, like Elizabeth Lucy, it's first thing in the morning. But then for some other people, like probably Suze, etc., it is right afternoon, I think. So after spending ages feeling like terrible about like oh but if I do it this time this person won't get it. if I do it this time these people won't get it Craig was like Leslie just do it at a time that suits you because at the end of the day you're the one that's gonna have to do it 
Bedford and commit to it. And during the day, it's, um, yeah, I'm working. So I would want to make sure, you know, if I, if I need to make a phone call, I need to make a phone call. If somebody phones me, I need to be, um, available. Anyway, ranty rant. Embossing again. I'll get it warm up first of all. Elizabeth says she watches them live and if I miss anything I watch chunks afterwards. Yeah, that's good. I mean I think that what I do is is I totally get that people are not in the most part gonna be able to stick around for the whole show. It's it's a massive commitment. I mean I don't even think I stay still in one place for like three hours. Um, Okay, and I, I would probably find it just equally hard to sit down and uh, and watch someone for that length of time. But I guess it's like, well, if I if I'm gonna commit to, to making spending my Friday nights making a card, or either I. I I make a card for like an hour and live and I turn the camera off then but I craft for longer I could do that but it seems a bit of a shame maybe I just need to keep on doing shorter cards so we can dice them up actually I don't know whether you can dice it up you can't I don't think you can like edit it afterwards you can trim the start so you can trim the start away but I don't think you can go okay this is a three hour video let's break it down into three videos okay congratulations let's cut a couple more of these bad boys Oh, absolutely. This is, yeah, I could class this at work, absolutely. Um, but with me, a lot of my, a lot of the people that I need to talk to, like in the morning, it's my UK people, it's my accountant and my retailers and things like that. Um, and then in the afternoon is the only chance that I get to um, deal with my manufacturers and things like that. So I could possibly find a time and be like, right, okay, every Tuesday from two to three or whatever, I am, I've got a meeting for want of a better word, because you, can, you know, it's no different from being in a business meeting, I guess. And I'm not going to be free from that time. Yeah, but then it'll be much easier when Piper goes back to school. Because <laughs> right now, we're trying to work around her as well. Hooray, hooray. Ooh, that did not want to cut. can't please everyone I know and I'm okay with that but then I do feel bad whenever people are like I really enjoyed your videos and know that I am um, like I don't do as many of my edited ones if I would hurry up and get my next release all drawn I wouldn't be in such a panic <laughs> being a little too honest on camera perhaps
and also whenever I have the design team I think that will be much easier on me as well because if anything wants to be done or needs to be done or if anyone wants to speak to me about anything they have to talk to me Layer these guys up. Hooray, hooray. Um, maybe you can put. Oh, hold on. Maybe you can put the times in the description. That's a brilliant idea. Give that woman a prize. That's a brilliant idea. We shall do that. And then people can skim through. Right. Stick these guys together. How is Happy Duty coming along? Have your orders exceeded expectations? Well, you know, the thing is, I know, I know this is such a cop-out of an answer, but I really didn't know what to expect. So whenever we were talking about, you know, fulfilling the orders and things, I, I didn't know. Like, I had said that, you know, it, it'd be nice to, to get... I, I don't know like I, I just didn't have any clue it it could have been like two grand and um, we we finished on 15 so yeah that that did exceed expectations and um, like on one hand there was like nearly a thousand people subscribed to our newsletter so that they can be informed whenever we went live and things like that. So it was only a thousand people. Um, but in the end, there was like 250 orders. So it like it's hard to know what to expect because if you think, well, there's obviously a thousand people who are interested, then but not every one of those is going to buy and that's obvious and even if they want to buy they maybe can't buy for whatever reason Hooray. it's such a sticky finger but I've been really pleased the only thing that is um, not coming along as expected <laughs> is like just trying to get on to like the next step because I've been so focused on making sure that the Kickstarter is going well making sure that we were um like well marketed there etc um But now that the Kickstarter's done, I'm like, oh, I kind of wish that I had spent more time previously working on like the next release. But I also knew that I only have a certain amount of time and the Kickstarter was like for me the most important because that's, your, that's everyone's first impression of you and that's everyone's first impression of your company. And those people, some people have actually already, I'm so thankful and grateful for this, they have already gone on to like Facebook and you can do, um, you can do a, what is the word that I'm looking for? Like a, fa like a, a, a rating, like a five star rating thing. And people have been giving me, like giving us like five star ratings, which is just like amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing. Do you think that's going to fit? 
that piece of black cardstock here that I was thinking of using, and it's like just not quite big enough. I was very excited when my stamps arrived. Yay! I am very. I was very excited to see everybody get their stamps. <laughs> um, like I say, my birthday last week. Like every so often, Craig would like show me the phone and be like, "Oh look, someone else got theirs," and I was just like, "Yay!" It is exciting. That's for sure. Come on, hooray. All right. Just want to make sure that this is actually going to be what I want or whether I'm going to have, want to have pink instead. What do you think, you guys? I think that's going to have to go in there. I'm just going to do it. I'm getting tired. Oh, one minute past midnight. Okay, just smoosh this with my ranger. Multi matte medium. The good thing about um, Kickstarter, I've had a couple of people comment, is if people are familiar with Kickstarter, then lots of people have said like, oh my gosh, I have bought stuff on Kickstarter before and I have waited like months, nearly a year to get it. Like, this is like unprecedented quick delivery, um, which is great and that's exactly you know amazing but then on the other hand you've got people who like they don't really know what kickstarter is which is fine but then you know they see a stamp set at the start of july and they're like you mean i have to wait till september are you kidding me <laughs> um i told the stamp store i shopped at today that they needed to order yeah amazing Pinterest. Pinterest is one of those places that um, every time I post something, or at least nearly every time, I don't think I did it today, every time I post something to Heffy Doodle, I pin that card in Pinterest. But I don't really use it an awful lot, and I know that I should use it more. I think it's one of those things where something's got to give, you can't do it all. Something's got to give. My hand is now covered in glue, so I hope that this, I don't leave big gluey marks all over it. I really love this dye that I bought. <laughs> I've got a sneaky little bit of tool sitting right here. Hooray! I think this is going to tuck in here like that. And under like that and fishtail so like here here I need a fishtail so let's cut that there first of all eyeball that equal on the other side slice up the middle a little bit and then from the corner to the middle glue all over me oh I've lost my lost my chat bring it back Yay, Gabby says that the stamps came way before she was expecting them. Yay! 
I am glad that you guys um well, that you were excited to receive them first of all which I knew you would be <laughs> um, and that we were able to turn them around so fast we had a little bit of a hoo-ha um, with Uh, we 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 should have had it slightly more or slightly quicker, um, but it worked out in the end. It was all good. Okay. So that is stuck down there. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the back of this. I think actually I might do some glue dots because it's it's really fine but I don't know how well glue is going to hang, hold up to the tool. We're getting there guys in the final furlongs as they say. How inconsiderate someone phones you. These people wanting to speak to you. It's just shocking. I think I'm just going to put it right there in the middle. Why not? Hooray! Congratulations! I think we need some black pearly whirlies. And maybe some of the little um, like see-through gems. They're fun. Black pearl, black pearl. Not the ship. <laughs> What are they called? Dew drops or something? Um, yeah, I think that's it. These are pretty. Donna says that she'd be willing to help in any way she can. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Yeah, because the biggest challenge for any um, like new company is definitely going to be like the marketing, getting spreading the word out there. I bought these little pearls when I was in Scotland, and, and I've managed to use like loads of them already. Who knew black pearls would be something that I would use a lot of? Normally I avoid black because I'm like boring. When I worked at Regis and um, we were forced to wear black for so long. So I think that's probably why pretty much avoid it now. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, we are done. I think I might need that to, um, dry a little more before I start waving it around the place. Let's bring in my stuffs. So, let me get my, ma my magic um, 
my secret for taking photos. On screen, and let me know all my secrets now. There we go. Three pretty cards. A Leslie personal best. I think so. I think so. I think I need to start getting a bit more basic. Like I, I just get, I get these ideas of really complicated, um, either like a scene, a scene with like a million stamp things, <laughs> or, or like my, like this guy here, where you have to totally engineer everything. <laughs> but I quite enjoy it. But I do also enjoy quick techniques like this here. You saw how quickly I was able to mask with the layered templates. And it was just super simple. So this one here, Sue, it, I don't know whether there's going to be much of a shake to it. I'm a bit, there's a little bit. We'll see if it holds up tomorrow. Oh, too blown out of that there. Sending you wishes for a rainbows and unicorns kind of day. I love you, I mean it. I think I've lost my piece of card in there. Now. There it is. And hooray, congratulations. Awesome. I like, I like your complicated ones though. That always new ideas to inspire. Yay. <laughs> you learned a lot watching me figure it out as I go. That's what I think as well. I think that it's good to mix it up and it's good to, um, it's good to try new things. And um, I think, I think it's fun to have you guys all along with me for the ride. Some people were asking me, like, do you not get really nervous that you're going to, like, mess it up? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to mess it up, but sure doesn't matter. That's kind of always been my mantra. Like, it really doesn't matter. It's not really. Like, worse things have happened. <laughs> yes, it's frustrating if you spend a lot of time on something and then all of a sudden you, have, you feel like you have to throw it out. But I think a lot of stuff can be saved and uh, rescued. Right, my dear, I am going to go to bed. I am going to say cheerio to you guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me for another session. Congratulations, Crafty Suits, on winning your Curious Kitties. Don't forget to send me the details so I can pop that in the post. Um, it's unlikely it'll be sent tomorrow, but it will be sent early next week. And I wanted to remind you guys about the giveaway over on Instagram and the Newton's Nook competition where you can win goodies. If you go to my blog, Hungry Heavy Crafts, you'll get all the links there anyway. And then tomorrow, you have a card um, and, and it's an edited video. So if you do enjoy my edited videos, it's a short edited video. I think it's like five minutes or something. Um, with a fun card using gelatos. And um, yeah, it's a bit more artsy, a bit more free and easy. But it's good fun. Good night, my darlings. Love you all. And I shall... I said to Craig that I would try and convince him to do a guest appearance next week. I thought that he should stand in. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think he's up for that. <laughs> but I'll try to do a little um, Facebook Live when I'm on the other side of the world. If, it, if I'm on Wi-Fi, I think that's probably going to be um, the deciding factor. Elizabeth, don't spend too much money on Leighton Tangled. 
and I will see you guys all soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.